Hey neighbors, it's Miss C. How you doing this beautiful morning? It's bright and early. And your girl is woe out. Cause I've been to Walmart, honey. Shopping, getting things ready for Seafood Ball Saturday. I know y'all excited. I am too. My first seafood boil on my channel. It been a long time coming. I know y'all been requesting it out the wahoo, yoo-hoo, ha-hoo, all that there. But I had to start early this morning, get things shopping so I could still be able to prepare some videos for my neighbors and also get things ready for Saturday. So this is just a little quick haul. Um, I already put my shrimp in the freezer because... They was already starting to defrost a little bit, so I wanted to keep them fresh. So I got some jumbo shrimp there in the freezer already. Um, let's see here. I have some fresh mints, ginger. Okay. And don't be particular about brands. Just get you some minced ginger. Or if you want to uh, mint your own ginger, just go in the vegetable, the produce section and get you a hunk of ginger. It looks like a little root tree or something like that and grate it yourself. Okay? Move that in. This is not part of the seafood boil, but nine uh two ice trays for 95 cents or something like that um from walmart i have some fresh corn on still on the stock on still on the stock lord have mercy um y'all see this they still got the husk on it you know what I'm trying to say. You know it's early in the morning. I haven't had no coffee. But anyway, that's the corn. Okay. Oh. Okay. Right here, I have some minced garlic. As well, a big jaw. I have garlic cloves. I guess that would be called just garlic, fresh garlic, y'all. Then I'm gonna just chop up and use for my sauce. And I have a bag of potatoes here. This is a mix of the gym stone potatoes. They have the purple, the yellow, and the red. It's a variety, and I just wanted to try them. Okay, moving along. I have some Tabasco sauce. And I have Worcestershire sauce to make my sauce with. My uh, below sauce. Smack a delicious sauce. I have the accent seasoning flavor enhancer for your food. Anytime you're trying to kick it up a notch. And I know what they say about accent seasoning, y'all. But I'm only using. A little bit to give it a little extra boost. You know what I'm saying? I have some sriracha. I know. Ooh, I know y'all love this stuff. This will be my first time tasting it. Whenever I taste it, but I went ahead and bought a little bottle because I've never had it before. So whenever I tend, whenever I happen to try it, it'll be my first time. It might be on camera since y'all like first times and everything. All 
right. Let's see here. Okay, I wasn't playing with the garlic. I got another bag of garlic cloves. I have me some andouille sausage. I've never tried this brand, but I'm going to try it this time. And I have some other sausage. I'm going to try this one as well. It had a nice brown color to it. It looks good. So I'm going to try it out. Hopefully it's good. If not, I will not be buying it again. I'm making this quick, y'all, because some of this stuff has to be refrigerated, like this corn. So I have two packs of corn on the top. So I have the fresh corn for Sunday, but if I happen to do another seafood boil later, I'll already have corn in the freezer. You see what I'm saying? You got it. You got my drift. Now, you know when you go in the store, you always end up buying something you didn't go in there for. The next few items is just that. So, since I have some shrimp, I went ahead and bought some Cajun seasoning mix. This is going to be my first time trying it whenever I happen to try it. And I bought some Star Kiss Tuna in the hot buffalo style and the herb garlic. Since I'm on my little healthy kick, y'all already know I need quick, fast stuff to eat when I'm in a hurry so I won't eat the wrong thing. This is also for the sauce or the seat of the crab ball for the water. So a little bag of that. Goya cookies. They are sugar free. Well, they taste like it anyway. But they good. They're light, light, lightly sweeted. Sweet. That's right. Thank you. I sure appreciate you. I got some slap your mama. Everybody love this. And I got the low sodium Cajun seasoning. They have a low sodium, which is this one. They have the regular one and the extra hot one. And one that's created with white black pepper. Like black pepper ain't good enough. But they got one with made with white black pepper. It may be hotter. It may be less hot. I don't know. I haven't fixed anything with white pepper before. So if you know the significance of white pepper, hook your girl up. Let me know something. I might can learn something new. I've been eating black pepper all my life. It was just fine for me. But they always coming up with something. All right. I got some trivia. Some little sweeteners. I have uh, McCormick Grill Mates seasoning. This is what MK Markel put in his MK Bites Butter Sauce. <laughs> be looking out for that <laughs> Louisiana hot sauce my favorite I don't know about nobody else everybody like Texas Pete and Red Fox or oh Frank's Frank's red hot sorry <laughs> didn't mean to mess up they look juice but anyway I like Louisiana but I bought Tabasco and Sriracha 
to try them out. I know how Tabasco, Tabasco tastes because that was my dad's favorite hot sauce. So I really haven't eaten it since he was here. You know, memories make you buy stuff. Oh, you already know. That's just what happened. And um, this is the boil oil that you put in the pot to cook the seafood. And I came across Louisiana uh, Craven Cajun hot sauce. I don't know if this one got anything on this one, but this one a little darker. But either way, I'm going to try both of them. Because a little hot sauce goes in the B-Love sauce as well. So, hey, I got an array of hot sauces. So, you know what that means. It's on. It's about to be on and popping. Up in here. Up in here. You know you can't go to the store without getting you some Roman noodles. I got two of the shrimp flavor. I got an idea in mind. I got some of the picante chicken flavor, hot and spicy. I got four of these. They were 20 cent a piece. I was at Walmart. They probably cheaper at your grocery store. They used to sell these for 10 cents back in the day. I think even 5 cents. It was like 5, then it went up to 10. And somehow it's 20 cents now. Inflation, I suppose. But yeah, and they have a new flavor chicken tortilla flavor. And I think it comes with some little tortilla strips in here. It might do. I don't know. But it said new. So I was like, it's 20 cents. Let me try it. So yeah. That's the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I went through everything a little fast. If you wanted to know any information about any of the items, it's at your local Walmart. <laughs> But, but if I could answer any question for you, please leave it down in the comments. I don't mind answering it. I just went there basically in the middle of the night well, while it was still dark. And I was like, just let me get this stuff. That's why it's still early in the morning. I'm like, whew, I'm ready for a little nap. But I got more stuff to do. So I'm finna head back out this door. And I'll see you later today, neighbors. But before you go, you know what you need to do. You need to like, comment, share, subscribe, like, comment, share, subscribe. I say like, comment, share, subscribe. So we can get ready for this seafood ball Saturday, baby. See you later, neighbors. Bye.